Hello friends and welcome to this video on authentic English and in this video we're going to discuss the poem We are the music makers by Arthur O'Swanessy. So this poem was originally called Ode and uh, it's commonly referred to by its first line We are the music makers and this poem was first published in 1873. So this is quite an old poem and still holds a lot of relevance today because it talks about something that is relevant even today. Before I begin explaining further, I would like you to subscribe to my channel if you've not already done so because I will post videos on literature regularly that may help a lot in your studies. So let's begin with uh, our summary and analysis of We Are The Music Makers. So first of all, let's understand uh, what We Are The Music Makers refers to. We Are The Music Makers refers to the artists. Okay, so you know what artists are, some people who create art the writers, the musicians, and even engineers who create something new, who have the capability and power to create something which does not exist, okay, to create something new. So he is referring to all those artists. The poem has been made into music and is important in many aspects. So this poem was turned into a song. So this has been made into music and, and is important in many aspects. Movers and shakers is a phrase that originated from this poem. So at times we might have heard this phrase movers and shakers. So this is a phrase that originated from this poem. This poem has been alluded to several times in culture and in popular culture this poem has got a lot of references to it. Self means many other authors have talked about this poems, poem in their work. The poem is dedicated to artists. So this poem holds relevance because it talks about those people who have the creativity, who have the imagination and out of their imagination and through their hard work they are able to create new things. The poem is dedicated to artists, people like poets, musicians, painters etc. who create a new world through their imagination and set themselves apart from the rest. So the reason why these people become different from the other people and in fact greater than them because they have the capability of creation. And creation is a godly aspect so artists are great people and also artist refers to not just these people but also people who build the cities even engineers because they help in you know creation of a lot of things so all those people who are in fact creating new things are referred to as artists in this poems the creators so now we'll uh, talk um, be, um, you know, begin with the stanza-wise explanation of this poem. So let me read out the first paragraph for you. We are the music makers and we are the dreamers of dreams, wandering by lone sea breakers and sitting by desolate streams, world losers and world forsakers, on whom the pale moon gleams, yet we are the movers and shakers of the world forever, it seems. So this is the first stanza of the poem and it addresses we are the music makers. So the Poet is addressing all the people, all the artists, okay? Artists of all the fields. And we are the dreamers of dreams. So the artists have a dream that they turn into a reality. So that is why they are the dreamers of dreams. Because first, before even creating a thing physically, you have to dream it in your imagination. You have to create it in your imagination. That is what is talked about in this powerful line. We are the dreamers of dreams. And then through our hard work, through our skills and through our knowledge, we put those dreams into reality. Wandering by lone sea breakers and sitting by desolate streams. So it now talks about that the artists have a hard life. You see that musicians, poets, these are things that still are not considered very important in our society. If you tell your parents that I want to become a musician or maybe I want to be a singer or a poet, something like that people will say that these things are not substantial in today's world and it's always been true there have been a lot of poets a lot of other artists who have faced a lot of opposition from everyone one of the examples was keats okay so he was very poor but now in fact after his death his entire family is very rich all this subsequent generations so wandering by lone sea breakers and sitting by desolate streams means that these artists first of all look at the word loan it describes how they are kind of alone okay so sit, they sit by the sea alone 
and also they sit by streams okay they wander by the sea they roam next to the sea alone and sitting by desolate streams and then they are sitting next to a stream so it implies that at a certain level the artists are kind of depressed they kind of face a lot of problems they are alone at times but it is through their aloofness through their loneliness whatever you want to term it as that they are able to create art you might have heard that phrase that when actually you are sad that is when you are able to create some of the best of arts so it points out that the life of the artist is not easy they have faced a lot of problems maybe it's financial problems or maybe it's some psychological issue so the artists have to face a problems face a lot of problems the artists wander alone by the waves and sit in isolation by the streams thus the artists have a tough life full of hardships which brings out the art from them so these hardships bring out the art from the artists okay they have to kind of forsake the world and the society to create things that are extraordinary so you might have seen that a lot of artists in all the time have talked about things which were kind of different they have given a viewpoint which was different from what was normal so at times the artists have so forsake the entire world and that is how they are able to create their art world losers and world forsakers that means they have to give up on the world at times they do not have to think about what the world will think they have to create their own art and world forsakers they have to kind of forsake the world for the sake of their art okay so there are people who have given up on the world just to be able to create their art there are artists who have created paintings that might have sparked a lot of controversy and there are people who have written things that might have sparked a lot of controversy so at times they do not find themselves connected with the world they are disconnected and that is how they go about it on whom the pale moon gleams now this pale moon means that the moon does not shine brightly on them in fact the moon is described as on whom in fact i mean on whom the pale moon gleams can mean that they are not very well to do at times the pale moon can signify the hard lives of the artists in that they earn less okay so they are not enjoying a very shiny kind of a life in which the sun is shining just the moon is there not the sun the moonlight is less so they are it can be implied that they earn less so the artists have a lot of problems to face but in spite of that they are very important in that they are the things they are the people who create a lot of things yet we are the movers and shakers of the world forever it seems but yet these artists are the ones because of whom this world is moving ahead because of whom the world is seeing innovation and newness however it's the artist to make a difference they are the movers and shakers they can bring a change in the world through their works and they can make the monotonous world a creative place to be so i hope you're thorough with the first stanza now let's move on to stanza number 2 with wonderful deathless cities we build up the world's great cities and out of a fabulous story we fashion an empire's glory one man with a dream at pleasure shall go forth and conquer a crown and three with a new song's measure can trample an empire down now it talks about how the artists have a power to destroy and create okay the artists just not have the power to create new things but because of their power they have the because of their creativity they have the power to destroy what is bad with wonderful deathless cities cities means songs so with we build up the great world's great cities okay so through our songs to the songs that the musicians write or the poems that the poem poets write we can build up great cities the contribution of the artists to the world through their works is highlighted through their evergreen songs they can create wonderful cities and through their stories they can talk about glorious empires so in our stories we can talk about glorious empires and through our songs we can talk about wonderful cities that have existed or there or are there in the present world so these songs and these poems can give them immortality and out of a fabulous story we fashion an empire's glory so through the stories we can talk about how glorious an empire was see we have not seen how the mughal empire was it's only through what we've read about them in the history books and what has been what we've read about them in the stories that we know about them 
one man with a dream at pleasure shall go forth and conquer a crown and three with a new song's measure can trample an empire down so the artists motivate people a man with a dream and resolution can go about and achieve great things through his determination one man with a dream at pleasure shall go forth and conquer a crown artists can stir the minds of the people art is powerful and it can destroy an empire too so what happens is that one man with a dream at pleasure shall go forth and conquer a crown so the artists have the power to motivate people they can perhaps motivate people to make a change in fact the artists sometimes become the instruments of change and sometimes it is the, uh, the i mean the artists are themselves the person who bring a change okay so one man with a dream at pleasure shall go forth and conquer a crown they can conquer a kingdom art has so much power that through art man can get inspired and conquer crowns and three with a new song's measure can trample an empire down so this is a poem that can be interpreted in a lot of ways you might found find different interpretation interpretations on different websites or maybe your teacher has told you something else but there are different ways to look at things because you know you can never be sure what the poet meant he's dead long ago and it's what we have to interpret that matters and three with a new song's measure can trample an empire down and now other three people if they want through the power of art they can also through the power of art through these songs that the artists have written these songs can stir so much of power in the people that they can also trample an empire down that if something is not something is wrong in the empire even the empire can be brought down art has so much power a lot of writings have stirred so much of you know what to call it so much of uh, confidence in the people now let's talk about the stan last stanza we in the ages lying in the buried past of the earth built nevene with our sighing and babel itself with our mirth and overthrew them with prophesying to the old of the new world's worth for each age is a dream that is dying a one that is coming to birth now in this stanza the poet talks about the immortality of art as well as that the fact that artists have always existed and it is only because of the artists that we are going to see a new world tomorrow and it is only because of the artists that the yesterday's world was what was what it was the poet says that artists have been there all the time suggesting art is immortal okay so the artists have lived ever since the earth has been has existed because there have always been creations somebody built the pyramids of egypt and somebody built all those ancient monuments somebody built babylonia babylonia does not exist now but it was definitely a creation of some artist so artists have existed right at the time of the conception of the earth because through artists are the persons who are the creators they are the ones who have created new things so artists have always existed and their creations are always going to be remembered most of the times babylonia does not exist now there are a lot of cities ancient cities mohenjo-daro they do not exist now but we know about them so art has the power of immortalizing we in the ages lying in the buried past of the earth so in the deep past built nevene with our sign now this uh, nineveh was an ancient city okay so this was an ancient city the artists built the ancient city of nevene nineveh which was destroyed with great efforts the build, the slaves who built the city were tortured so of course when they were tortured the slaves were not happy building the city and the city was later destroyed but it was through the power of the artists that the city was created and babel itself with armath and babel was built happily by the artists the city and then the city of babel was built with happiness by the architects so all the ancient cities are a creation of the artists and overthrew them with prophesying to the old of the new world's worth now these two lines indicate that these cities got destroyed and new ones came up and it was because the artists that lived during those times told the people that there can be a better way they created something new something better so the old old things got erased and a new modern world came up so these lines hold a lot of power it talks about see these cities of nineveh and babel 
they were a creation of artists but then new artists came they showed to the world they prophesized to the old world how important how better a new world can be and then they built bigger cities greater cities so the old ones got buried the artists hence are very powerful people for each age is a dream that is dying or one that is coming to birth now i particularly like these two lines for each age is a dream that is dying all the time that has passed okay i mean all the time in the past all the ages that have passed the dark ages and all the ages all the other times in the past that are now no longer there were a dream of some artist and now they are dying but once it was a dream of an artist or one that is coming to birth and now whatever is going to come in the future is also going to be a dream of some other artists for example we create new machines we create a new city for example think like 100 years later your city is going to look very different and it's all going to be because of the power of these artists okay for each age is a dream that is dying and every part every literature that was written in this age in that age was a dream of some artist and every form of literature that will exist in the future will be a dream of some other artists so it talks about how important the music makers the artists are it's the artists who helped to create the modern world by showing to the older world the greatness of the former each age that goes away was a dream of the artists the creators and each age to come is a dream that will take birth and now each new age that will come is again going to be a dream of some other artists everything that you will see every new creation whether it's a new poem you read in the next 20 years or a new book you read or a new development you see is going to be a creation of some of the other artists some of the other music makers so we are the mu- mu- music makers and we are the movers and shakers of the world forever it seems so this was the poem i hope you understood it if you have got questions related to this poem please do post in the comment section below i'll answer all of them thank you so much for watching guys and um, have a nice day and please subscribe to the channel